today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty for YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy. And today is actually my last day in my theme week that I have had this week and I have had YouTuber collab palettes week and I have used five YouTuber collabs palettes or I'm going to use my fifth. I've used four. So this is my fifth and it is a look with its freaking bats from Shroud and Betty Bean and it looks like this. And I do love this palette. I think it is an amazing palette. I think it's the colors are so cool. I love Betty Bean's choices. And the palette, uh, this is one of my favorite palettes I have in my collection. It is so, so cool. And I really think it is like Betty Jean in a palette. And I will, of course, leave her down in the description. And yeah, I think we just hop into this. And I'm going to tell a little bit about Betty Jean when I'm doing my makeup. And yeah, I guess we just get started. I think I'll do a pretty dark look. So I will start with this dairy and take it in my crease and also on my outer corners and then I'm going to do a half cut crease because I do love to do that and and just the shimmers in this palette is amazing so it's hard to not use them so I will start with this dairy and I will go a little bit easy in the inner part of my crease maybe and I will take a little smaller brush than I usually use and okay Betty Jean or Betty Bean, her name is Betty Jean. She is uh, one of the coolest and grungiest people I know on YouTube. She has a really amazing makeup style and also like her clothing style and just the aesthetics. Her hair is really cool, her makeup is really cool and she does inspire me a lot. And I have done two collabs together with Betty Jean. We did one collab that was only me and her, her and me, me and her, and also one where we did Evie inspired makeups. It, we were, I think, nine of us. So I have talked a little bit with her, and she is so, so sweet and. If you haven't checked her out, I do really recommend her because she has such a cool style. And she has a really big been been a big inspiration for me. Jesus, I can't speak today. A big inspiration for me when it comes to doing grungier looks because she does them amazing and I really love her looks. So yeah, you should definitely check her out. And again, this color, it is so, so deep. I don't know if I should go in with more. No, I think this eye. And she's actually releasing a new collab with Shroud. Hello Bean. And I, I do want that palette, but as for right now, I am on a no buy, so I'm not going to buy it this year. But I, I know that I will buy it next year when my no buy is over because it looks amazing. And Shroud is one of my favorite formula, especially when it comes to shimmers. They do some of the best shimmers I know. They are so pigmented and they are really like creamy. And I was so happy when. Betty Jean announced this collab and I was so happy when she announced or maybe I wasn't because I know that I couldn't buy it but um, I really love the aesthetic of both Betty Jean and Shroud so I am so happy that they are doing a collab again I don't know how this looks it feels like too dark but you know what I'm actually going to go with it like this. And I'm going in with the same shade. Just take a little bit out here. And it looks a little bit messy right now. But I'm going to 
fix that when I'm cutting my crease. I do want to use this handbook because this is a super amazing shade. And I want I want to do something green. Yeah, I think I really want because I want to take a red, really dark red lip to this. All the shimmers in this palette is amazing, but I think actually I will go with handbook. And then maybe this one. We will see. I will start with cutting my crease. And we will see what I feel after that. And I'm going in with my glitter primer. I don't know if I really need my glitter primer to this, but um, I want to have it really intense. And also wanted to cover the things I want to cover. Okay, and then I'm going in with the green one handbook. And let's now feel like I want to take something else there. Maybe I should take this one green. No. Will I take this one? <laughs> no, I'm just taking all. Okay, now we won't see here. Now I have <laughs> nowhere to put the palette. I want to take another shimmer as well, but I don't think this. I actually think that I will go with this one. So I will take this in the end here and then out on the matte shade. I think that this works really good because this purpley one, it has like a golden sheen and it looks really good with the, the green one. I think that this is the look. I'm going in just a little bit with the matte shade. I'm going to tap it off just to there. And then I'm going in with the brush that I took, the purple shimmer. Try to see which part of it I used and going over it again. Okay, I do love these lids or this lid. I've only done one. I think this looks really cool and I will do the same underneath my eyes, so I will take maybe not only, maybe just the matte shade and the green shimmer in here. I think that will look really, really cool. So I will actually fix that off cam because how fun is it to see me cutting my other crease? So I will fix the other eye, my base, and everything, and then I come back. I love the look. I'm so, so happy with it. I'm so happy with the green and with the red lips and I just do love it. For my face I did use a trio from Nabla now again. I so, sell Ombra, Lola and also <laughs> they even have to talk about them. For my wash line I used Hot Dang from NYX and on my lips I took this from Lethal that is Rapture and on my teeth. I do love this one. It's becoming one of my favorite reds I have in my collection. And this is the finished look. I do really, really love it. I took the green underneath my eyes here with only a pencil brush and I think it works really good. It's not like super intense, but I didn't want it that super intense. So yeah, I'm so, so happy. So I did use three colors. This one that is an amazing green shimmer. I love it so so much This and this one and I just think this palette is so grungy so cool And it's a really fun palette to play with mostly because I do love The shimmers from Trout. So yeah, that was all for my YouTube collab palettes week theme week theme theme week and It has been so so fun and I'm not going to rank the palettes because I think it's so hard to like choose. But I'm just so happy that I have all of these palettes. And it has been really, really fun to use them. And you seem to have love this week. And that makes me so, so happy. And I will leave all the videos down in the description if you want to see any of them. And I will also leave all the creators 
of the palettes that I have done. But maybe just for a recap, I did use The Lethal Is Dead, the first. Can I remember in which order I used them? Yeah, I think so. The first one I used was Lethal Is Dead with Teresa Is Dead and Lethal. That looks like this. And I didn't say that in that video, but these, you can take them out. Makeup by Anki told me that. I was so afraid to like try it, but you can depot the, these. Then I used the Giant Wolves and Odin. Giant Wolf from Odin's side that is an Makeup Corners collab and this this palette I really do love. I love the look that I got out of this. I did use this shimmer. An amazing shimmer. The day after that was the Club Nebula with Kaleidos and Angelica Nyqvist and this is one of my most used palettes in my collection. I do love this palette. I think it's really fun and easy to play with and I do really love the Kaleidos formula, <laughs> eyeshadow formula. Yesterday I did use the Serenity from Menagerie and it's Annette's Makeup Corner and I did really love that look as well. These two shimmers that I used in that one, amazing shimmers. They are so, so, so nice. And yeah, today it's this look with the It's Freaking Bats. I love this look and I'm so happy to have used all these palettes again. And yeah, I guess that was all for this video. I'm going to shut up and I will see you next week because it won't be any more videos this week. I have put up five, so there will be no more videos. I am going to try to make a few weeks and I already think that I know what my next theme will be, but next week I think it will only be, 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 be normal videos and maybe the week after it will be theme weeks. I have not decided yet, but I think I'm going to try to plan it like that. But yeah, I, I really hope that you liked this video as well. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!